what bands did in those days. By the way, so Tommy Darcy, but a little bit before Ellington, and all he had in his band was Buddy Rich and Frank Sinatra. And Frank Sinatra would not stay. In those days, the singer sat over on, on in a chair and maybe sang four or five songs a night. The band was the feature, you see. And the Sinatra became built up in a big time star after he left Tommy Darcy. And the bands went south and the singers became the stars. I'm going to keep talking and tell you the story of Rocky Raccoon. Another little anecdote which uh, includes uh, Leek Hopstacken from the Netherlands, currently in Vietnam. Uh, at the time of the uh, Stockholm conference, he and I had been corresponding. He asked me if I were going to be in the, the conference. I says no. And I said, well, by the way, just joking, you know, how you'll do. And I says, if you happen to run into Alice Babs, tell her I said, take love easy, which you'll probably know was a song she recorded with Ellington in Paris. Well, he goes to the conference, and as luck would have it, one of the mornings he sits down at the breakfast table, and right next to him is Alice Babs, the star of the conference. And he says to her, uh, you will not believe this, but I've got in my briefcase here some correspondence with a guy over in Hickson, Tennessee, and he told me if I met you to tell you to take love easy. Well, she said broke her up because she, she saw the the bizarreness of it, so to speak. And uh, Leek got her, how I, she did it, I don't know, but I've got an email from her acknowledging the situation and saying hello and best wishes and and I've got her signature.